Okay, I know you, I, I know you guys can't hear. Wait, you can hear me. Oh god, I hope the mic's not crackling. Oh god, I didn't get to do sound test. Hang on. I uh, for those of you who don't know what's going on, I, I literally just finished being on Desert Show and came online as soon as humanly possible. Um, so jump from Remax to the IM qualifiers. We're gonna be casting Scott versus Peely Peely. I just need a sec to set up, guys. Give me a sec here. Um, oh my goodness. All right. Uh, test, test. One, two, test. Ugh. Sorry, I hate doing this stuff on the fly. I got most of it set up though. Like I got the the logo for once was ready to go. I didn't goof that up for once. Uh, right. Uh, test, test. One, two. Good, fantastic. All right. I think we're ready to go. Uh, nope. Hang on. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Intel Extreme Masters Stage Two Qualifiers for North America. Three players will get through from tonight. And the question is, which is it going to be? It's a double elimination bracket. There's a lot of chances for these guys to survive. And starting here in this best of three, in the top right corner of the map, it is going to be none other than the pink Zerg player from Team Acer. I'll give you Scarlet. And her opponent in the bottom left. Red Protoss. Peely, 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 Peely. Um, we actually got to see quite a bit of Peely Peely recently. Fenner was one who was pretty adamant on casting him, and I guess it's seen him in the past. Scarlet going for some proxy hatchery shenanigans, which I find hilarious because we had actually just finished discussing this uh, on Remax, Desro's talk show. Um, so this is not something unheard of or unforeseen or crazy in any regard. The problem though is Peely Peely has scouted this and he's actively chosen not to deal with it. So while he's going for a gateway expand... Oh, I like this Forge follow-up. This is kind of neat actually. Um, he's, he might just go for a cannon attack towards her natural and make sure that she can't easily get that third up behind it. But because Scarlet's been allowed to get away with this for so long, it's not really Peely Peely's prerogative to get a cannon up over here to, to do any sort of sh forge shenanigans because she's just going to make Zerglings or Roaches or Queens or quite frankly, whatever she wants. Now, what I like about this pylon being down here is it does give him the option to put down one cannon. A cannon that you're going to need both defensively later on in the game, but right now as well to possibly deal with this hatchery a little bit quicker. Um... But not having done this, taking double gases, no cyber core being started up. He goes for the triple wall. What? I feel like this probe's on the wrong s Okay, well, hang on, never mind. We'll see uh, how he plans to play this up, because the thing is, it's not going to take much more than a queen to come kill these pylons. Uh, spine car can get started for Scarlet. There's not really a lot of danger, because everything Scarlet needs isn't to make 17 lings at home. I mean, she'll make her first four, obviously. But it's to make a couple of lings across the map to get a queen out over here. Um... I mean, there's about one cannon to take down this hatchery, and it's going to take so long that when the broodlings come from after this is done, they might very well come close to killing that cannon. Now, cannons are also coming up here for Peely Peely. He should be able to save... Oh, actually, I don't know if they'll quite hit the cornerlings. The range is going to be pretty tight. But uh, this is a very interesting response. I've not seen anyone go this way with it. Now, looks like he can't quite reach the pylon to save it. Uh, cancel that second cannon. It starts a pylon down here to make sure that once these get depowered, it doesn't stop everything. But this buys time, I suppose. You, I, it's a weird time to buy, but as we see, Scarlet makes links on the other side of the map. Uh, she's got a couple links here at home. Six links can easily take on a zealot. Uh, if she wants to go really ham with this, the idea with this hatchery is to spread that creep out once more. So with uh, the brood links combined with a queen DPS combined with um, these zerglings, she'll be able to kill that cannon very easily. Keeping this creep tumor down is like the number one thing in the world to denying this base. It keeps the creep up and alive. Now as the broodling spawns, she actually doesn't choose to use the links just yet. Uh, I kind of feel like she might have been able to pull off a kill on the cannon. It would have been risky either way, but um, yeah, Queen and Link's going to do what they can to chip away at this. Meanwhile, she sends the links she made at home across the map too, and Peely Peely doesn't really have any defenses. The cyber course relates to the mothership course not coming anytime soon. The Queen does fall, but going to lose the pylon, going to lose the other pylons across the map. The cannon's already been taken care of. Scarlet is in a fantastically comfortable spot right now. And uh, again, this creep tumor and this Queen, oh, sorry, I thought this got sniped off. The Queen is a pretty big deal. It's going to prevent any sort of... Uh, any sort of expansion. Peely Peely is effectively forced to play off of one base at this point, and there's not really any way around that. Uh, as a pro dust player, you can't just simply jump across here, and he actually tries to. Goes to the gold. Again, a very unique way to deal with this. Uh, I, I don't love this choice, though, because Scarlet already has a ton of legs, and while she didn't rush out Zergling's speed, it'll be quite simple for... Oh, that is, that's surround! Ugh! Ripping Pepperino Stalker. Uh, it's not going to be hard for her to get those speed links across the map, Sorry, did I just say she didn't have speed? My bad. Um, 
brain's frazzled. It's not going to be hard to get a full surround here and just kill this Nexus. The Photon Overcharge might be there, but if Peely Peely forces it, uh, or is forced to use it at his home Nexus, there's no way he's going to be able to get across the map to defend this one, uh, even if a couple cannons go down. I think the one thing, though, is Scarlet doesn't know about this. Uh, there we go. Alright, so now she knows what's up. This is another priority target that's got uh, very very little to no defenses. Circling on top of this. Bam. Gets through just in the nick of time again on top of this cannon. And these all should just be cancelled. Uh, Peely Peely has effectively lost this game, it's sad to say. But at this point, you can't really play off of one base. GG. 